In this set of video tutorials, I'm going to show you how to securely connect OPC data to cloud data sources, including a live connection to Microsoft Azure's IoT Hub. Before I jump into the live tutorials, I want to share the tool I've been using. Commonly in industrial automation, we see users with a wide variety of data sources. Since 2006, the Cogent Data Hub has been used by our users worldwide to solve all types of unique data and information integration challenges. A key principle of Data Hub is that once the data is in the software, from any of the data sources you see here, you can send the data just about anywhere. You can do it securely, even do inter-plant data exchange without opening any firewall ports. Let's review a few of the data source types. Data Hub has the most robust and easy to implement OPC UA secure certificate management with setups to connect to most OPC UA servers within minutes and then verify the connection using our built-in connection test tools. Since 2006, Data Hub's ability to robustly connect to any OPC DA server and move data without DCOM between OT and IT worlds, field or shop floor to office, has been the flagship functionality. Data Hub features rapid recovery from connection losses and the ability to deal with varying connection speeds and latencies, and even bi-directionally move data without opening inbound firewall ports. But the OT world is not just about OPC. Data Hub can read and write data from just about any database, and once the data is in the Data Hub, you can share that data via OPC or any of the IoT connectors or any of the other Data Hub connectors. Data Hub can even connect to Excel using a couple of different methods to allow you to share data bidirectionally with the world's most well known spreadsheet application. Data Hub can even move data from non Windows data sources. We've had users implement integrations with Linux, VMS, and other various real time operating systems. With the Embedded Toolkit option, there are even IoT field devices that can securely push data directly to the Data Hub. Need to share data between control systems? Data Hub can do it. You can set up a single or bi-directional bridge with data transformations between different OPC servers. OPC has been around since 1995, and with many types of OPC software systems out there, you need a robust way to transform between the OPC standards as your systems evolve to the latest technology. The Data Hub OPC Gateway functionality makes that easy, and again, once the data is in the Data Hub, it can go anywhere. Data Hub can even get data out of Modbus Ethernet devices, as shown here. So, like I said, if you can get the data into the Data Hub, we can move it to the cloud efficiently and securely. So, let's take a look at how I do this in two use cases. I'm now going to show you two use cases and how we set them up to move data to the cloud. We have a lot more videos at the link shown here, or you can use the link above to get a free trial license. Let's get into the action now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to push OPC UA and OPC DA data to the Azure IoT Hub. The Azure IoT Hub is an MQTT broker and we will use the Data Hub's MQTT client feature to push data to the Azure IoT Hub. The first thing we need to do before configuring the connection to the Azure IoT Hub is to configure our connections to our OPC UA and DA servers. When we go to the OPC UA section, you can see here I have a connection to my OPC UA server. I'm connecting to a local OPC UA server on port 49380. I'm using an update rate of one second, and I'm subscribing to the tags, and I'm putting them into a group called OPC UA. You can see here my connection to my UA server is running. Similarly, I have a connection to an OPC DA server here, which is also running. It's connected to the top server at a one second scan, and I've loaded a few different items from my OPC server. We click OK and we look at the view data. We can look at the tags. And before you configure a connection to your Azure IoT Hub, you want to make sure that the Data Hub has good quality data for any tags you're pushing. We can see here 
this is my OPC DA connection it has good data and we just saw the OPC UA connection also has good data now we should go to the MQTT client section and we can configure the connection to the Azure IoT hub before we connect to the Azure IoT hub we do need to download the Azure device explorer this link here is available both in the help file and I'll put it in the description of the video the piece you want to download is the setup for the device explorer now I've already downloaded it so let me open up my device explorer there's a few pieces of information we're going to need from the device explorer to set up our connection so let's open up our MQTT client and we're going to add a connection and we're going to add it to the Azure the first thing we need to do is specify the IoT hub name this is the event hub from the data tab of the device explorer we're going to copy this we'll paste it in here as you can see the device that I'm going to be connecting to I called it test device now once you've specified the IoT hub name and the device name you just click reconfigure it does say we need to generate a password and I'll show you how to do that in a second let's call this Azure video and then on the authentication side you can see we have our client ID our username but we don't have a password yet the password can be found by going to the configuration section and generating an SAS in this case this shared access signature is good for one year I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it directly into the password section now I need to choose what tags I'd like to push to my Azure IoT hub so let me go into my OPC UA section and I'm going to publish these five tags and I'm going to go to my OPC DA section and I'm going to publish a few of these tags as well so you can see we have tags both from the OPC UA and the OPC DA section if we click OK we can minimize the device manager and click apply our status is connecting and our status is now running if we open up the device manager again go to data and monitor we can see we are pushing data to the Azure IoT hub that's all there is to it to get make a connection between OPC DA or OPC UA to the Azure IoT hub in fact you can push any data that the data hub supports to the Azure IoT hub it's not limited to just OPC data once the data is in the hub you can use all the analytic capabilities available in the Azure IoT hub in this video I'm going to show you how to use the MQTT client feature of the Cogent Data Hub I'll start by showing you how to subscribe to data in an MQTT broker then I'll configure a connection that will publish data to the same broker let's get started first of all I have an OPC DA connection to my OPC server set up this is important because when we subscribe to data in the broker we will send the data to the OPC server also in our publish we will actually be publishing data that comes from our server to the broker since we already have our OPC DA connection set up let's jump in and look at the MQTT client configuration first let's look at the subscribe connection that I've already created to my MQTT broker I'll start out by saying you can use any MQTT broker in this case I'm using a broker called Mosquito let's open up the connection we need to start by giving it a label this is just a friendly name that you assign the connection I put in the host name of the computer running the broker you could also put in the IP address the port is 1883 and I've used the default retry rate of five seconds for authentication we need to specify our user and our password that we set up in our broker because MQTT does not define a message format standard we allow you to specify a message format when configuring the data hub this is a free form editor where you can type in whatever you'd like the format to be 
These are the placeholders you can use for some of the most common parameters in your MQTT message. Let's click OK. The last thing we need to do is specify the topic pattern that we want to subscribe to in the MQTT broker. The hashtag specifies that you want any and all topics in the broker. So let's click OK. Next, let me establish a connection to my MQTT broker. In this case, I'm using PuTTY to establish a connection to my Mosquito broker. For Mosquito, there's specific format you need to use to publish data to a client. In this case, I'm using a message I previously configured that I was testing with earlier. Um, I won't really go into the specific format of how to publish using Mosquito. That information is all in the Mosquito help file and is not relevant to this video. You can see that the message format that I'm using here does match what I've configured in the client. We have our topic name, then the topic, the point value, and then the value, the point quality with the quality, and then your point timestamp with the timestamp. Okay. So we're going to be writing a value of 33,751. So let's open up our data hub, view data, and we're going to be monitoring this tag one. So if I hit enter, that should write a value. We saw that value update. Now that value did propagate all the way down to the OPC server and to the device that I'm connected to. You can see here I have a test client connected to my top server reading the same tag one, which also got the value of 33,751. I can change the value. Let's reset the value here. In this case, we're going to reset it to one. Hit enter. You can see that value changed in my client and my data hub. Now that we've successfully subscribed to data in an MQTT broker, let me show you how to configure the data hub to publish data to the same broker. Let's click add. This is going to be our publish mosquito. Again, we need to give it the host name. Same port, retry rate, we're going to leave it at default. We have to type in our username and password. And we are going to use the default message format. Now we need to tell it what tags we're publishing. Choosing tags is as simple as browsing from the list on the left hand side and checking the ones you'd like to publish. In this case, I'm going to publish tag 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's click OK and apply. That should go to running. Perfect. Uh, next, we need to actually send um, the mosquito command to show us what is being published. In that case, I can subscribe to all of the topics in the broker and then I can watch them update. If we go to the view data, you can see here, let's reset tag 2 to 1. Reset this one to 100, 1000, and 10,000. You can see here that we're now publishing every tag change that occurs in the data hub to this broker. Thanks for watching our video tutorials. To learn more, visit the link shown at the bottom of this slide or visit softwaretoolbox.com slash data hub for more information.